Today, we are looking at the way we view the world, how we all see things through our lenses, and the importance of keeping our lenses clean. Matchsticks are small sparks of light that can ignite a fire. Join me for hope-filled messages as we explore the fullness of Christ and how he equips us to walk in the light. The other day I was working in the house, you know, just doing the normal things, picking up and, and doing the washing. But I had to run to the shop, so I jumped in the car, I got to the shops, and when I got out of the car, I walked into the sun and it hit me. My glasses were filthy. Not just a little bit dirty, but they were filthy. When the sun was shining on them, I could see a haze covering them and it actually made it hard to see. By this time of the day, it was after lunch and I hadn't noticed my glasses and how my sight had been impacted by the state of my lenses. I could have been seeing a whole lot clearer, but in my busyness, I had no idea. This got me thinking of Romans 12 too. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. We all live in this world and it influences us more than we like to admit. Every day we are bombarded with images and messages of what the world sees as important. It wants to tell us how we should be living, what we should value, how we should spend our money, and how we should be thinking about different issues. All of this information overload actually makes its way into our minds by a sort of osmotic effect. We don't realize it is happening until we stop and consider our thoughts, values, or how we have a look at how we are spending our money and time. This is a little different to our perception and how we take in information around us. I am talking more about how the world influences how we analyze that information. With perception, people can experience the same thing, but their focus, even unconscious, is on different aspects from that experience, while our mental processes or the lenses we use to analyze that information can make people formulate very different conclusions. To renew our minds means that we come back to Jesus through prayer, reading the word and connecting with fellow believers. It is about checking ourselves and how our thoughts, hopes and desires are aligned with the gospel and God's ways. The way we look at the world and the way we see things is influenced by what filters or lenses we see the world through. If we see our day to day through the lenses of the world, we can experience anxiety at the future, we can be worried about illness, we can be worried about race relations or poverty or sustainability or a million other things. If we see the world through the lenses of Jesus, we can be at peace knowing that he is there working all things together and that we are responsible to put God first, to love others, and to share the good news of salvation. I know both of these are very simplistic summaries, but you understand my point. To come back to Jesus and have him cleanse our lenses and realign our thinking ensures that we are not compromising on the values, laws, and precepts of God. A question we could be asking ourselves is, are we compromising to fit into what the world says is acceptable? Or are we willing to face the same rejection Jesus did by holding to the principles of the Christian faith and what the word lays out for us? The scripture above says that when we renew our minds, we will be able to test how good, pleasing and perfect the will of God is. This is not saying that the world we live in or our lives are perfect. It is saying that to understand the plans of God, we need to have our mind renewed. We need Holy Spirit to reveal the depth of God's plans for us to understand them. 
just as Holy Spirit reveals the scriptures to us each time we read them. We all know we live in a fallen world and far too many people are hurt by others. Those of us who have dealt with pain, loss and trauma have an even greater need to renew our minds. Every life experience, our values, where we live and the people we surround ourselves with all influence the lenses we see the world through. When we have pain and trauma that hasn't been healed in our life, or even if we're in the process of healing, it influences the way we see and experience the world around us. What we may be seeing through our lenses may not be what another person is seeing or experiencing during the exact same moment. When we step into the light and come close to Jesus, he shines on our lenses. It may but be that he simply wipes off something that was blocking our vision, or he may point out something that needs to be addressed before it can be cleansed. Other times, Jesus may point out something influencing us, and we need to spend the time with him in a secret place to find out what it is and how it came to influence us in the first place. Don't forget, there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. When we know better, we do better. We repent of any wrongdoing we have, any wrong we have done. We repent of any wrong thinking we have had. And we come to Jesus to find a new way forward. In the process of renewing your mind this week, I want to encourage you to start asking questions about why you made certain conclusions about a situation, event or person. Check in with Holy Spirit and see if you are correct or if your lenses need cleaning before you decide on a final outcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you are blessed. Your light may be as small as a match, but many matches joined together can start a fire and ignite the world. Let's bring light to the darkness together.